What? What happened? Where... Where am I? I'm alive. But... How? Sylve! Sylve! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Sylve! Stay with me, Sylve! Come on. Oh, there you are. You all right, Sylph? Hmm? Oh, oh, sure, Davi, honey. I, I was just getting a little air. Being cooped up in that cabin was driving me crazy, you know? Oh, come on, Sylph. Cheer up, will ya? I don't think I can take much more of this moping. That day... When Mordegon... There was nothing I could do. He was just too powerful. I thought it was the end for me. For all of us. But this... This is worse than death. To wake up and find everybody gone. And the world consumed by darkness. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dave. But I just... I can't do this. I know I should feel lucky to be alive, but without the others... I'm nothing. Nobody. Right. That's enough of that. Huh? <laughs> Have you lost your bleeding marbles? Since when were them mates of yours the types to let some Lord of Shadows numpty get the better of them, eh? How about you have a bit of bleeding faith in them like you used to? Or did you think saving the world was going to be easy or something? <sighs> oh, Dave, darling. You're right. <clears throat> if a slip of a thing like me was able to get out of that tangle with Mordagon alive, then the others must have done too. And here I am feeling sorry for myself instead of getting out there and trying to find them. What would Veronica and Eric say if they saw me like this? <laughs> That's more bleeding like it. It's good to have you back, me old mucker. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back, believe me. Now, enough chit-chat. It's time for action. We need to make land at the nearest port and find out just how much of a mess the world is in. And once we've done that, we can make a start on fixing it. Sounds like a plan, Sylv. Nearest arbor to here would be over in Gondolia. Our plot of course right away. That sounds just perfect, honey. Anchors away! Hoist the mainsail! Gondolia, here we come! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain.
我想。
bad day? Hmm? Don't worry, honey. It happens to us all. Hmm? Oh. You're one of those minstrel types, are you? Look, if it's money you want, you'd better go and hassle someone else. I haven't got a penny to give you. Sorry, darling. No can do. It's against my policy to leave people all alone when they look as down in the dumps as you do. <sighs> look, why don't you just tell me what's on your mind? A problem shared is a problem halved. Hmm? That's better. Now we can talk properly. Silvando, entertainer extraordinaire at your service. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, my name's Tetsu. I'm a blacksmith from Hotto, though I haven't been back in a long old while. I'll tell you my story if you really want, but I'm warning you, it doesn't have a happy ending. After all those years away, I thought it was time for me to finally head home, see how my mother was doing, you know. But then the minute I set out on my journey, Yggdrasil fell. That just made me even more desperate to get back, of course. I was so worried about her. I managed to make it as far as Gondolia, but then my luck finally ran out. My luggage was stolen by a gang of thieves who've been terrorizing the town. The Beastly Boys, they call themselves. I can't make the journey to Hotto without all my things. Especially not the lilies of the valley I brought for my mother. They're her favorite flower. I wanted to give them to her to say, well, to say sorry for being away for so long. For leaving her all alone. <laughs> <sighs> oh, honey, believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Fear not, friend. Your mother will get her flowers. Dave and I will make sure of that. All you need to do is tell us where we can find these beastly boys. Oh, well, if you're sure, there are two merchants, brothers who run establishments in the southern part of town. I've heard that the beastly boys have been hanging around causing trouble at the older one's stall. A stall in the south of town, huh? All right. We'll be back before you know it. Dave, darling, let's roll. W wait. Look, I appreciate you trying to help me, but these are real thugs we're talking about here. And no offense, but you're just an entertainer, right? I wouldn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about me, sweetie. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know? Watch 
job. Leave it to me. Now, if you don't mind... What we gonna do with this horrible lot then, Sylv? Well, beastly they may be, but they're not exactly the dangerous thugs we heard about. They can barely swing a sword. What's your story, boys, huh? We didn't start out as criminals. We were fishermen. And very happy fishermen at that. But after Yggdrasil fell, we couldn't take the boats out anymore. Have you seen the sea lately? It's swarming with monsters. Things were just impossible. Most days, we barely had anything to eat. The world might as well have ended that day. We lost our families, we lost everything, and no one came to help us. So we had to choose between a life of crime or starving to death, and that's no choice at all. Watch closely, darlings. This is just an ordinary steel pike, yes? Mm -hmm. Think again! <laughs> From arms to... Mm. Who's for fresh bread, huh? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Bon appetit, beastly boys! Eat your fill and forget your wicked ways. You'll be beaming again before you know it. Wait! Who... Who are you? Me? Oh, nobody. Just someone who likes to see people smile. Here's a show.
goodness. They're still in one piece. Now I can go home to my mother with my head held high. Thank you, Mr. Silvando. Oh, here. It's not much, but I want you to have these. Oh, Tetsu, darling. Whatever they are, I'm sure they're wonderful. And you're such a sweetie. Honestly, you deserve much more. Come and visit me in Hotto sometime. I'll be able to thank you properly. Now, I'd better be off. I tell you to be careful, but I've got a feeling you'll be just fine. Bye for now. <laughs> ta -da. Oh, I'm better than all right, darling. I found it. My purpose in life. My raison d'etre. You know how I've been so down in the dumps thinking about all the despair and suffering in the world? Well, if that's what's making me so unhappy, there's only one thing to do about it. Get out there and fix the problem. Help make people happy again. Just because I can't save the world with some grand heroic gesture, that doesn't mean I can't do it one smile at a time. That's my Sylve. I'm with you all the way. Hmm. We heard everything you just said. Them tea leaves from before. I hope they ain't spoiling for another fight. Didn't they learn a lesson first time round? You have to let us come with you. You have to let us help people. We're done with our life of crime, thanks to you. You want to tag along? Hmm. Well, I hope you understand, it won't be easy. I can't guarantee you'll get home in one piece. We don't care! Hmm. Well, in that case, welcome aboard, darlings! Yes! yes! Now, as luck would have it, I've got you all a welcome gift. Here, take one each now. Don't be greedy. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh, they're simply fabulous. Darlings, you look splendid. I don't get it, Sylph. What are they? They're the presents dear old Tetsu gave us. If we're going to be traveling around spreading happiness and laughter, we'll need to look the part, no? All right, we're all set. Let's get out there and bring some sunshine back into the world. <laughs> Silvando's super special smile spreading parade starts right here. Yeah!
Oh, hey, Sylvando. Get in! What is it? Get in! Arriba! Hey, Sylvando.
that was easy. Hey, Silvando! Oh, hi! What do you want?
yourself! Well done, everyone! Well done, everyone! Hey, Silvando.
flower power! Get in! Huh. Is that all you got?
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, one and all! I know it's a difficult time for all of us, but what better way to show off our indefatigable spirit than to fill the big top with joyful laughter and defiant exuberance. And believe me, that's what's going to happen. Because tonight, for one night only, for the first time since the glory days of the Gallipolitan Circus, the Wandering Wonder returns! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Welcome! Oh, hi! <laughs> hi! <laughs> Clap your hands, stamp your feet, and get ready to smile like you've forgotten how to! I give you the Great Silvando! Everybody, it's time to turn those frowns upside down. Prepare to be amazed! Well, Sylph, I've got to hand it to you. That was like nothing else this circus has ever seen. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, darling, please. I just did a few party tricks, that's all. You're the real hero here. Keeping the show going in these dark times? No one else could have done that. <laughs> well, you know me. I've always been a firm believer in the healing power of laughter. And heaven knows, these people need it now more than ever. I don't think I ever told you who taught me about that power, did I? I saw her when I was just a child. She was simply the most incredible performer. She led a parade of people out of a kingdom destroyed by monsters and onto a new home and a brighter future. And she kept them smiling from start to finish. <laughs> you can't imagine how inspirational it was for those of us who were lucky enough to wave them on their way. And then, when she'd taken them to safety, she disappeared just as suddenly as she'd arrived. We never saw her again. The rumors were that she died when she was still young. Such a tragedy. Still, they say she fell in love with a famous knight, and they got married. So it seems she found some happiness before her untimely end. You remind me of her, you know. That look on her face as she proudly led those people out of danger spreading joy and laughter wherever she went. Huh? Well, 
If I needed inspiration to keep the circus going, you've provided it in spades. The show must go on. These people need some light in their lives. Did you hear that, darlings? It seems we've got a rival in the smile-spreading business. Well, we'll just have to work twice as hard. Uh, Mr. Sylvander? Would you mind if we came with you? If this circus is going to stand any chance of keeping people laughing, it's going to need some performers who've learned from the best. Oh, well, the more the merrier, of course. But I think we should see what the ringmaster has to say, don't you? Mm. Mm. Oh, you boys go with Sil. Learn all you can from him, hey? I'll be expecting big things from you when you get back. Take good care of them, won't you? They're good lads, I promise. Life in the happiness restoring trade isn't all fun and games, you know? I'm going to be training you hard, and I expect you to become nothing less than the very best in the business. Sir, yes, yes sir. sir! Yeah! Oh, yes.
Guys! My child? Hey there, pal. Silvando! Up. 
Here we go! Boom, boom, boom!
Teddy Weddy Woo Bags! Silvando, you came! But of course I did! And who's this ravishing young thing, huh? I am his mother, and you must be Silvando. Gratitude is due. When the world tree fell, I thought my boy had been lost. I drowned in despair. But now he is home. My worries clear like the clouds, and all thanks to you. God, <laughs> oh. <laughs> would you look at that? You really do perk people up wherever you go, eh, Sylph? A right little soldier of smile, you are. Hmm, soldier of smile. Ooh, I like it. All right, listen up, boys. We all know what a dark place the world is these days. But if there's one thing I've learned by helping people like Tetsu here, it's the power of the smile. No matter how bad things get, no matter how much you cry or how powerless you feel, a single grin can bring hope for a better tomorrow. There's nothing this world needs more than happy faces right now. So that's just what we're going to give it. Yay! You're so right, Sylv. We're with you all the way. Oi! Who said you could start calling him plain old Sylv, you cheeky toe rag? Oh, I get it. We can't go spreading smiles if we're mistering and surring left and right, eh? Fair enough. Silver yourself, silly boys. Great idea, boss. Silver is. I'm with you all the way too, Silv. Let's get out there and save the world! Yeah! I mean, yay! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, boys. You don't know how much this means to me. This parade's gonna change everything. I just know it. From this day forth, you shall journey across the land, vanquishing the blight of despair with the righteous power of happiness. I hereby dub you... <gasps> the Soldiers of Smile! Hmm. Soldiers of smile. Yeah. Uh. <gasps> if it please you, sir. My son would like to join you in spreading sunlight. All right, boys. Me and my mum have made a little something that's going to knock your socks off. <gasps> oh, no. ah. I told you I'd thank you properly if you came to visit. Now you can travel the world in style. Oh. Wow! <laughs> We've made something for you too, Sylv. To say thanks, you know. Close your eyes. <gasps> oh my, I love it! Thank you so much, my special little soldiers. Yeah. Let's say that sniveling you. There's people out there need our help in case you've forgotten. <clears throat> yeah. ah. oh. Look out, world! Here we come!
Awesome! I know you're still out there. All of you. We'll meet again soon. I just know it. And until then, I'll be doing my best to make the world a better place. <laughs> <laughs>